One travel trend that is growing in popularity is planning multi-generational family vacations. Yeah, isn't that fun when you mm -hmm. can spend time with the whole family? Yeah. And here to help us out with some vacation inspiration, travel expert and journalist Delia Colon, who is teaming up with Visit Florida to share some suggestions to take the whole family for a trip to the, the Sunshine State, mm -hmm. which I think we're all in kind of a sunshine state of mind. Right. Delia, it's good to see you. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. Yeah. Happy to be here. So why do you think now is the perfect time to plan a family vacation? Well, I actually grew up in Ohio, and I went to Ohio University just over the West Virginia border, so I know how the weather can be there, and I know <laughs> you deserve this. You've got to lock it in now. Everybody's trying to come to Florida in the summer, and for good reason. So a multi-generational vacation is the best way to connect as a family, really build those core memories and traditions. My family's spread out all over the country, so we love to get together in Florida and, of course, hit the beach and the theme parks, but then beyond that, as a year-round resident, I know all the little secret things to do that you may not have done on your previous trip to Florida. Things like swimming with the manatees in Crystal River or a cultural experience like a little Havana food tour. There really is something for everyone. Oh, wow. Well, listen, all of the all of your fellow Bobcats here are giving, <laughs> giving you a shout out. <laughs> it's, good, it's good to talk with you. Um, but you said being a full time resident there now, you found some hidden gems mm -hmm. that maybe others might not immediately think about. I mean, we know all those big tourist destinations, but what are some other suggestions that you have that might be off the beaten path mm -hmm. that we haven't explored yet? Sure. So one of my family's favorite places to go is Amelia Island and Fernandina Beach. It's right on the Florida Georgia line. It's about 30 minutes north of Jacksonville, so easy to get to. And this is where southern hospitality meets coastal charm. So it's like the best of all worlds. You've got the historic forts, outdoor adventures, fresh seafood, world-class golf. And then for accommodations, when my whole big clan gets together, we like to rent a giant house where like the kids can run around together. People who want to stay up late playing board games or having a drink on the patio can do that. If they're little ones who need to go to bed early, they won't be, you know, people won't have to tiptoe around them. And so you've got every type of accommodation you can think of in that Amelia Island area, as well as more traditional things like hotels and resorts. Yeah, those are great ideas. Now, what recommendations do you have for maybe some activities since you have, you know, maybe the little ones all the way up to the grandparents? Sure. So in that same Fernandina Beach area, you will find Fort Clinch State Park. This is one of the best preserved 19th century forts in the country. When my kids were little, they loved to go there and just run around. The kids can just run and get their wiggles out, while family members with more limited mobility will still find a lot to do because they have daily tours with period reenactors who bring the fort to life. So now you're even adding learning, which will please the parents because it is summer vacation coming up. You can also enjoy things like sunbathing, swimming, beach combing for shark's teeth, one of my kids' favorite souvenirs, and anglers of all skill levels can enjoy surf fishing. Oh. Well, the video makes it look fantastic. Mm -hmm. uh, do you have any favorites that you'd like to travel back to? Sure, and it's even better in person, of course, so you got to come see it for yourself. But I live on the west coast of Florida, so my family likes to vacation on the east coast of Florida. And between Orlando and Miami is a hidden gem called Martin County. This really is South Florida's best kept secret. So you'll find more than 22 miles of uncrowded beaches, over 100,000 acres of park and conservation land. You will feel like you're the only family there. Plus, they've got the vibrant downtown district. So after a day of fun in the sun, maybe leave the uh, grandparents in charge of the little ones and then you get dressed up and hit one of the downtowns and check out some of the restaurants. That looks so relaxing. But what do you recommend for the adventure seekers? Sure, so while you're in Martin County, be sure to register for a free guided eco tour with the award-winning Explore Natural Martin program. So this will give you an idea of all the different aquatic adventures there are to choose from in Martin County. Things like surfing lessons, stand-up paddle boarding, water skiing, scuba diving, or maybe the whole family just wants to enjoy a relaxing sunset sail, get some great pictures, maybe use one for your holiday card, or charter <laughs> a fishing boat to reel in the memories. Oh, those are great ideas. Right, and you might find a, 
a new place that you never even knew right. about that's going to mm -hmm. become like your regular family destination. Mm -hmm. All of these have been great, but are, are there socials or maybe a site that we can go mm -hmm. to that we can find more information to, to look at some of the places that you've mentioned plan a trip? Absolutely. Just head to visitflorida.com slash family. Oh my goodness. Thanks so much for giving us all these new ideas for a family vacation. I'm in a vacation state of mind now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>